Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome you back to our Baldur's Gate 3 Let's Play featuring the Dwarf Druid, Bayar Thrills. Last session, we managed to sneak right into the Goblin Camp, and without alerting a single soul, we made it all the way to the temple. No kerfuffles, no conflicts, no fights. It was super sneaky. Don't mind the blood in the background. That's nothing. However, as we got to the temple over here, we found ourselves bested by a cracked wall. And folks, I should have checked this last session, but it occurred to me between sessions that yes, even walls have weaknesses. So this one's actually got a bunch of resistances, but it's got a weakness to force. And wouldn't you know it, we actually have somebody who's able to use the force. Will, his Eldritch Blast over here causes force damage. Now, I imagine we'd still have to be rolling pretty high to take this sturdy cracked wall down, but I think it's worth a shot. The other option I was thinking about is, of course, uh, to use the explosive force of a barrel full of oil. But before we get to that, let's use this. Because I do believe that explosive damage isn't technically force damage, right? And that is extremely important to keep in mind when it comes to things like, well, CRPGs and tabletop RPGs, obviously. So we're going to try and use this Eldritch Blast to get the job done over here. And with a couple of lucky dice rolls, we should come out on top. Oh, would you look at that? Beauty. All right, cool. We found our solution. I was I was really actually kind of concerned that I didn't have a solution. I was trying to figure out like, okay, maybe the exploding barrel would work. Uh, maybe it won't work. Let's say it doesn't work. Then what do we do? And I was looking at all of our options, but uh, that's the only one I could find. And well, it doesn't look like a very good option. So uh, I'm glad this works. What else can I say? Keep at it. A little bit more of that and we'll be good. There it is. Now, I'm not upset about us having used the uh, Thunderous Wave, or sorry, Thunder Wave last time. Now, Thunder Wave causes thunder damage, but in my mind, it also pushes things, right? So that's why I went to that naturally. Um, either way, both of these spells have a somatic element to them, so I'm sure we would have alerted people either through the use of the spell or through the uh, crumbling of the wall. So this is great. We've opened up this collapsed corridor. we got to go and investigate, but I do wonder if I want to come down here first, because I can't recall, now that I think about it, if we investigate it. So, Defender Will, let's get you sneaking, please. Waiting, uh, waiting let's breath. get the whole party coming down this way to just see if there's anything we forgot over here. And then we'll go ahead and take a short rest that I was kind of planning on doing last session as well. And we'll make our way into that cracked... Uh, not cracked corridor. Collapsed corridor, sorry. Looks like there's nothing here. Looks like there's nothing here. Alright, let's make our way over. Now, the short rest should replenish these Warlock spell slots. And apart from that, it should help us heal up a little bit as well without, uh, you know, moving time too far forward, without taking us back to the camp or anything like that, um, if memory serves me correctly. We will not get back these spell slots. What else will we not get back? You know what? We're actually looking pretty good. Yeah, let's stick with a short rest. We do not need the long rest. So go for it. Um, camp and resting menu. I'm just trying to figure out if there's anything else I want to do before I go into the uh, short rest. Uh, we can speak with animals until a long rest, so that's good. We don't have to recast that or anything. That's the only other thing I think I wanted to check. With that done, yeah, go ahead and short rest. Our first of two until the next long rest. Good stuff. Everyone's healed up, and now we can go ahead and uh, enter this collapsed corridor. Seems simple enough. Seems simple enough, he says. Come on, man. Famous last words. Shattered Sanctum, what do we have here? What do we have here? My, my, what manner of place is this? A path to redemption? Or a road to damnation? Hard to say. For your journey is just beginning. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps. The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that? Love. Was that? <laughs> They do know how to write them in Cormir, don't they? Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service. His presence makes me extremely uncomfortable right now. Partly because I saw the weird, like, flaming effect, but at the same time, as we were sneaking up, it looked like 
somebody spotted us. There was a red vision cone, and it looked like it hit us just as his cutscene began. So I don't know if his presence is related to that, or if this was going to trigger anyway when we got here. So I'm a little on edge right now. Um, am I talking to the mouse or the cat? Oh, it's very, uh, I like that. Pretty words. If you want to threaten me, don't disguise it, okay? Walk away while you still have legs to walk with. No, no. Again, don't pick up on cues. Pleasure. I'm Bear Thrills. Charmed, I'm sure, in more ways than one. Ugh. We should have a chat, you and I, but not here. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. Yo, what? There. Middle of somewhere. All right, don't like this. Reach for my weapon. Well, I mean, we're we're on his home turf, right? Like we can't reach for a weapon right now. Uh, we can't force him to send us back. He's not gonna listen to us. At least that's the vibe I'm getting. And by I, I mean Bear. Uh, can you be more specific than somewhere? The house of hope, where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. I don't like this. What makes you say that? I'm getting tired of your games. Are these theatrics leading somewhere? A little too aggressive. Ignore him and fill my plate. No, I don't trust this food. Again, I'm not like the goofy oaf that's just like, oh yeah, you know, I'm always chasing the next mince pie. I'm like, that's not, that's not who Bear is. And I'm obviously instantly suspicious over here. What makes you say that, my good friend? Call it a ninth sense. What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary, conceivably, but a savior, that's for certain. Oh, man. Okay, I could draw my weapon right now. I don't think so. I don't think so. Again, he says, am I a friend? Potentially. So let's try and lean in on that because we are, again, like I said, it's his home turf. What makes you think I need saving? Why would you help me? I don't care what you are. I care what you want. Again, a little too kind of harsh and, and, and rough around the edges. Um, what makes you think I need saving? Come now, why play hard to get when you're in deep over your tadpole head? One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. Okay. Okay. It's an option. I need to think this over. Hold on, hold on. I mean, look, the fact that it pauses on that portrait there. Am I literally about to make a deal with the devil? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, this is a tough one. What would I do? What, what would Bear do? I mean... He doesn't like this tadpole in him. But... He already thinks he has two solutions. You know what? Okay, I figured it out. That's why I like taking a moment sometimes. We're looking for the druid. The druid is someone we would trust most. The goblin priestess? Oh, jeez. Between the goblin priestess and this devil, I don't know. You know, they're kind of on uh, even footing as far as how much I would trust them with uh, with my health care, so to speak. But I, but I know there's a druid out there who, if he's alive, can help me. I just don't know if he's alive. I need to think this over. Take all the time you need, but make up your mind before you're counting down with tentacles. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. 
hope. <laughs> Such a tease. I absolutely love the voice acting here. Like, my god, that performance, that little mini monologue there was amazing. Um, Alright, what are my options here? If I do want to take this deal, how would I find you? I'll have the last laugh in the end, take me back. After that, I never want to see you again, or I'll rip out your mocking tongue. No, 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 no. I gotta leave my options open, because let, 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 let's be real. Halson might be dead, right? This could be a wild goose chase. Uh, Halson might be dead. I wouldn't be surprised if the priestess tries to kill me as well, the goblin priestess. Uh, or ignores me completely, so we need to keep our options open. And if I do want to take this deal, how would I find you? I'll be around, watching you squirm like a tadpole through a nice, juicy brain. All those pretty little symptoms, sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say, you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. Dude was trying real hard to convince me there, but nah, nah, nah. I'm not that easy to convince. I don't think that was related to the uh, vision cone that I think hit us. I think that was just a separate thing that was going to happen anyway. Um, I feel like we kind of have to go in guns blazing at this point. It gets really difficult to sneak. <laughs> a little gap over here that we could go through. All right. Okay. Well, what? Okay. What are we actually looking for here? Find the night song. Investigate the temple. Ask the goblin priestess for help. All right. All right. Okay. So. Well, that's up over here. Oh, I can't actually get. Come on! You can't climb that. And I can't even jump through this. That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. I can't. I can't. I can't sneak through that. that come on. All right. Fine. Fair enough. I just want a little look. Nope. 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 Did not mean that. Keep moving. No one's looked up here in a while. Keep on creeping on. Let's go. Step. Let's go. Here we go. Nothing up over here. Ooh, there's a gilded chest. Will encumber. Yeah, that's not. Made a precious stone covered in gold, sturdy and pleasing to the eye. All right. I just wanted to see if it was gonna like, if it had. If it was special in any other way. Pop that open. It's not even locked. Elixir of Heroism. Gain 10 temporary hit points and become blessed. Okay. Elixir of Bloodlust. Drink to enter a bloodlust. Once per turn, when you kill a foe, you gain 5 temporary hit points and an additional action. Replaces effects from other elixirs when drunk. An Oil of Accuracy. Coat your weapon to receive a plus 2 bonus to attack rolls with oiled weapons. Bonus action, bonus action, bonus action. I feel like there's a boss battle coming up or something. Like, these are the kinds of things that... Uh, that scream boss battle to me. Don't know how I like that. Let's go ahead and take all those. And very quickly over here, I just want to adjust. I just want to adjust what I've got set up over here. Because, again, I'm not keeping a track of it. And that's obviously not good. You gotta stay on top of this stuff. Elixir of Bloodlust. Let's get you down there. Scroll of, Rev Scroll, sorry, of Revivify. When we need that, we know we have it. So this doesn't need to be in my bar here. So I'll swap that out. Uh, what else have we got? The Elixir of Bloodlust. Uh, we've got the Elixir of Heroism. The extra HP. Pop that up there. Potion of Speed. Plus two bonus to... Ooh, armor class, right? Advantage on dexterity saving throws. And double our movement speed. I mean, that's not bad. When the condition ends, we become lethargic. And what does that do for us? Consumed by exhaustion. In the aftermath of haste. Can't move or take actions. Bonus action. Oh, wow. What the hell? That's not amazing. But either way, the Potion of Speed is, is quite quite useful for a variety of things, including the improved armor class, obviously. Um, Dilated Oil of Sharpness is for extra damage. Overcome resistance to non-magical damage. Spiked Bulb is basically a frag grenade, it looks like. Does one damage, that's it? No, surely it does more than that. Surely it does more than that. But just then we have the Oil of Accuracy, which I wouldn't mind having on hand either. Let's swap out the uh, the Void Bulb, because I always remember that I have Void Bulbs. I just haven't yet seen, uh, like, an opportunity to use them. But, alright. Go on quick save, might as well. And find our way down, I guess. Looks like that's where we gotta go. We gotta go down this way. Up those steps, and over to the other side. Which is where all the action's happening. Alright, cool. Let's just check out our options over here. 
So I've got this ladder that takes me right down there, right to where I need to go, kind of. There is somebody patrolling up there. But no one's looking here for quite some time. Okay, not that much time either, though. The other option is to try and... what? Ooh, I can go across this way. I can see what's on this side, I suppose. Oh, there's a lot on this side, actually. What is going on? And I can jump over there. Can I get up over here? I doubt it. I doubt I can jump that high. But there is stuff over here. This space is absolutely huge. Desecrated monuments and stuff. Alright, okay. Might be good to just explore. Get the... Uh, so to get an understanding for the lay of the land. So, sure. Let's uh, let's make our, make our way across here. Slowly. Hopefully this won't, like, result in any checks or anything. It doesn't look like that tight of a balance beam. Yeah, looks like we're good. Keep moving, keep moving. A chill runs down uh -oh. your spine. Lady Shah's twin and nemesis, the moon goddess Saluna, was once worshipped here. Yet this place clearly fell to ruins long before goblins infested it. What happened here? No matter. The truth will be revealed in time. You silently offer a prayer to Shah and her glory. That was very weird. Scared the crap out of me too. I thought we got spotted. <laughs> Game's got to chill with that, man. Because again, it happened when uh, a red thing was seemingly over us or almost over us. But we're good. We're good. God, my heart rate right now. Through the roof. Ooh, another gilded chest. Don't mind if I do. Take a peek. What's in here? We got a scroll of dark vision. All right. And a scroll of witch bolt. Well, grab those. Put you and you. I got to remember what I have here. Speak with dead. I, I really got to use speak with dead. I got to get speak with dead. That way I won't be so like afraid to use it up or anything like that. Um, we've got scroll of enlarge, color spray, grease, grease, shocking grasp, ray of frost, detect thoughts, dark vision, and witch bolt. Okay. Just got to remember which ones I actually have and, 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 and try to use them when relevant. Because they're very valuable, right? And you don't have spell slots or you don't want to use a spell slot, you just use one of your scrolls, but I haven't had the uh, need to do it yet. We've been doing pretty well as far as combat's concerned. I'm still surprised we won that battle with the harpies you know, a handful of episodes ago now. That was wild. I did not expect that. Um, but hey, here we are. Still alive. Mostly. We have a ladder down over here. That's pretty good. If we get down that way, then... We might be able to sneak up this way. Down the steps on that side. Up this way, and then through. And at that point, why don't I just take this ladder down? Well, again. I'm not planning on actually making a move right now. I'm just looking around. I want to... I want to fill this map out a little bit and see everything there is to see, just so I know what's happening, what my options are. Though I might be limited over here because it looks like somebody's looking up here. Might just be a moment, they might turn around and then we can jump across. I wonder if we can jump down from up there. Oi, Druk, look away. Nothing happening up here. There's nothing happening up here. He doesn't keep looking up that way, I don't think. I think it's just a matter of time before he looks away. Now, if we do get up over here... What do we got? What do we got? What is that? A scrying eye. Alright. Spike always makes him talk. If he doesn't, I'll cut out his tongue. If he don't have a tongue, he can't tell us nothing. Alright. I also gotta keep an eye out for Brian, right? I haven't seen... I haven't seen a dead dwarf yet. I haven't seen a dead dwarf yet, so... Nothing I can occupy my mind with just quite yet. Looks like this guy's not turning around. That's actually a surprise. I could have sworn he wasn't looking all this time. Alright, let's pull back then. Let's pull back. Wonder. Probably gets too far. I was like, can I pull him down off the, uh, the walkway where he's standing? But no. Okay, that's shrinking now. Ah, I thought it was going to shrink further. Nope, I guess he's just looking that way. Alright, fair enough. If I come down this way, I guess I could try it. Quick save it just so we preserve our uh, moment with Shadowheart and our uh, our exploration of the map, I suppose. 
Oh, I see what happened. I was culling. Okay, okay. Gotcha. So he is always looking that way. And he was always looking that way. There is a lot of goblins here. This is extremely, extremely bad. Faithful of Maglubiet. Uh-oh. Do they not care that I'm in here? We failed our hiding roll there. Breathe quiet. Move with Maybe care. they don't care. Light on my feet. All right, you know what? I'm I want to take a gamble here. I'm I'm going to I'm going to be sneaky when I'm going to be less uh, risk averse here cuz it looks like these guys just don't care. If they spot me sneaking, they might care, funnily enough, cuz they'll be like, "What are you doing? What are you up to? That's suspicious behavior." But uh, but if I do get caught, I'm not gonna get. It looks like I'm not gonna get in trouble. Go 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 go. Ideally, I still won't get caught. But oh. All right, we've been spotted. Everyone's seen us. He's coming towards us. My God, these guys don't care. Again, overthinking things. All right, if these guys don't care, then let's look around. What? Genuinely thought we were. We were in trouble. Sharp eye meme. Got a goblin boss over here. A couple sharp eyes. All right. Ooh, and a rat. What are you cooking? Oh my. Good for you, buddy. Let's see what this rat's seen. Foul stench of slaughter turns suddenly sweet through the rat's nose. Blood smell. Life smell. Not like the great hollow below, which smells only of death. Okay. Alright. Where's Dorley? Should I even investigate? Like, where's the line? Looks that way. But scouts said they heard something moving around out there. Something big. It's not our concern. Our prey is elsewhere. Interesting. Something's going on in there. Gilded chest. That's obviously... Something I'd like to pick up. Scrying eye. All right. Okay. I'm. I'm. Yeah. I'm. I'm wondering where where that tipping point is, where someone will be like, "Hey, you're not supposed to be here. Now you die." The scrying eye was looking at me all strange. All right. Let's keep moving. Looks like we're in we're in the clear. At least over here we are. Keep on keeping on. We'll just push through, and we've got um the goblin priestess here. Find the night song is listed over here as well. I wonder if that's because Brian's body's over there or what, but... Who is this? That's suspicious. He's just staring at the door here. Um... It's a lot of blood, too. And there's a lot of stuff to take. Hello, potion of healing. Don't mind if I do. The backpack to investigate as well. Well, we want to make sure we don't get caught, obviously. So, uh, wait for these guys to clear out. And then, yeah, don't mind me. Don't want to draw any attention. That's mine. There. Don't look up. All right, we're good. That's mine too now. Don't need anything else. On receiving her grace. I assume that's got to do with the uh, shrine here. Diagrams of bodies twisted into impossible shapes cover the pages while handwritten notes fill the margins. Be wary of your mortal limitations. While it is tempting to allow pain's ecstasies to sweep you away, particularly during a delicious bout of self-flagellation, broken bones hinder worship of our maiden of pain. Instead, when the body is spent, focus on a whipping or... Theft has been reported, and it seems you're the only suspect. Choose your next step wisely. Yeah, maybe standing next to a crime scene isn't the smartest move. I could try to talk my way out of the situation. I could give 452 gold, or is that how much I have? Or I could just attack. I could try and talk my way out of the situation. Again, I don't think I'm in the wrong, necessarily. Question is, who did you... Is it Bear? I'm going to have to deal with that minus one to Charisma, aren't I? Well. Oh, crap. So I got Deception, Intimidation, or Persuasion. Sorry, I haven't seen anything suspicious. Maybe you should continue your search elsewhere. Or excuse me, someone of my rank won't be disturbed by someone like you. Um, no, I haven't, even, I haven't seen anything suspicious. Again, stealing is fine. I'm going to use those things. It's, it's, it's acceptable behavior. I haven't seen anything. DC of 15. Oh, we are in so much trouble here. 
We are in so much trouble here. So I could use the charm. The level one spell slot. Might be worth it. Gain advantage on charisma checks. But does that how much of a difference does that actually make if we're rolling two dice here as opposed to one? I think it's worth it though. Charm person. At level one. Yeah. Got our advantage. Get our guidance as well. Oh, I can only do one. Oh, crap. I can only do one. Alright, so I get a bonus of zero to three. Which means... Oh, God. I could get away with a 12 if guidance works out nicely. Oh, we're in trouble. This isn't going to fly. Here we go, folks. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Wow, that was bad. Even with that high roll on Guidance, that was real bad. I've got Inspirations. Am I really going to use one up for this? For stealing? We're right in the middle of the camp. If a fight breaks out, we'll get murdered. So it's not really about stealing. It's about trying to survive. Trying to stay alive. So sure, let's use an Inspiration here. Come on, baby, please. Come on, come on. Yes! Yes! Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness, I could have gone terribly wrong. You'll walk free for now, but your stories won't land so well if you're caught again. It's okay. Someone's reported a theft in this area. It seems you're the likely culprit. What will you do? What? Again? Um... I'm very confused. I'll hand over the stolen items, I guess. Like, I could... Is this somebody else? Where'd this guy go, even? What happened? Every What's going on here? Right, let's try and talk our way out of the situation. Because that's what I would do. Uh, and I would say... Go on, accuse me of something, see what happens. Sorry, I haven't seen anything suspicious. And I will take that guidance. This time I can't get the charm person, but okay, sure. And let's roll again. Hope for the best. Wow. All right. You know what? <laughs> okay. I, I, hopefully I'm not caught in a loop here or anything, but I'll take that back-to-back -back successes on DC-15. You'll walk free for now. But your stories won't land so well if you're caught again. That was extremely strange. But I, I, I get, I understand what happened. I understand what happened, and I should have seen that coming. They saw something was missing. They came up. I was the only person there, so they're like, "Excuse me," uh, and and they went looking for me. But that worked out perfectly. We used up an inspiration. We came out with a potion of healing. I don't know if that's a fair trade, but it's the trade we did. Not going to steal anything else. You know what I think probably happened? I think maybe I stole two items, and so they asked about two different items as opposed to one incident. Calm so fair enough. Down. I'm not going to steal anything else right now, but I am going to steal a moment of this guy's time. Abderak. Greetings, child. I've met few aside from goblins here. You recognize the Scourge. This man is a follower of Leviathar, goddess of pain. Ah, are you also here to assist with the prisoner? All right, cool. I was going to say, like, part of the reason I want to talk to him is morbid curiosity. The other part is because he might have seen Halson and might be able to take me to him. I'm assuming that's the prisoner he's referring to, so, uh... What do you mean? Oof. Which one will get me the answer I want? Let's go with what prisoner, actually? Just to double-check my suspicions. What prisoner? The gentleman being held next door. My acquaintance is working on him, I believe. While I was thrilled to be invited here, I must confess, I find the goblins and their methods crude and primitive. 
pain without purpose is a terrible thing. Wouldn't you agree? I mean, yes. Who invited you? A goblin? Then why are you beating yourself? I thought a follower of Loviatar would approve of pain. Um... Is that like, is that rude? It's one of those things where it's like, oh, I assumed you're all like X, Y, Z. And he's going to be like, it's like, oh, you misunderstand us. You're just like everybody else. You know, that kind of a thing. It's like, it's not just about pain. It's about pain with purpose. He literally just said it. So I'm going to avoid that topic. And I'm going to ask him who invited him. A goblin? Yes. One who claims to be a master of pain. Pain is intimate and loving. But trying to discuss that with these creatures. Forgive me, but that look in your eyes. Something terrible has happened to you. Clever man. How did you know? Because I see those same eyes when I look in the mirror, dear one. We've all suffered in these dark times. It is little wonder you bear scars of pain and anguish. Please, let me alleviate this pain. Stay away from me. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Uh, I don't need any alleviating. Thank you. Again, I'm not even remotely curious. The way that animation told me everything I needed to know, the way he was reaching out. I don't need any allevi alleviating. Thanks. A pity you would have known such sweet relief at my hands. Should you realize you need my assistance, come back. I'll be waiting. You know, the more options the game gives us, the more I'm convinced none of them are going to work. Like, when we just had a couple of options, all right, you know, maybe you fail one conversation, but the other one succeeds, or maybe something goes sideways, or one of them's a, a dead end or a red herring. But now we've got how many options? Four options. Halson, um, the priestess, the um, this guy, and uh, Raphael. And now I'm starting to feel like, hmm, no, 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 these aren't real options. What? Who is being tortured next door? Let's investigate. Can I see anybody? Just a lot of food. Not gonna, not gonna steal prisoners' food, am I? Or is this storage? Because that's a lot of food for a prisoner. What's in that sack? Bunch of apples. Yeah, don't mind if I do. Prisoner doesn't need that many apples. Besides, I'm here to rescue them. No, you know this might actually just be like a storage space or something. Dearest Elminster. Dearest Elminster. I must be brief, as I am under some duress, having become an esteemed guest of a rambunctious host of goblins. I would, of course, rather be under duress than under a feathered duvet, for danger and adversity are the very ink in my well. So this is good news indeed. As you well know, there is no wit quicker and no tongue more silver than that of your humble friend and scribe, and by regaling my would-be foes with tales of goblin heroics, I have become an indispensable member of their tribe, namely their chronicler and bard. In this guise, I shall live among them a while so that I may observe their peculiar habits and rituals as closely as possible. All of this, of course, be documented in my next magnum opus, Opus, sorry. My life among the conquering host, to be available at all good booksellers forthwith. An enticing extract is enclosed with this missive. I implore you to spread the word so that adventurers and curiosity seekers across the Sword Coast and beyond will be a quiver with anticipation of this life extending and soul enriching guide. And with that, I must depart. I am summoned to sing a ballad of my own composition, and the lady, yes, I call her a lady, who delivered the summons is rather impatient, not to mention well-armed. Truth be told, I believe she has some, dare I say, deep affection for me. She calls me her pigeon and rarely strays from my side. Perhaps there shall be a chapter in my book regarding goblin marriage rituals. I balk at nothing in my quest for knowledge. Until we meet again, inform the world entire of the diligent research I am undertaking, and ensure word of my upcoming masterwork is on the lips of every innkeep and sellsword from Waterdeep to Belwir. 
Volo. Wasn't that the bard who was like who was asking us how things went and then just said whatever he wanted to say anyway? The the, the guy we met at the Druid Circle? Has he ended up here? And uh, what's happened to him? I guess he's the prisoner then. Ooh, a burlap sack. With a rotten carrot. I'm good. I'm good. But I'm 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 guessing that's what's happened here. Got a war drum over here. Can I? Hmm. You can attack it. But if it breaks, then I'm sure it'll cause trouble. And if you attack it, don't you end up kind of beating it? And if you beat it, then uh, reinforcements come, right? So let's uh, let's not let's not mess with that. If we're lucky, if we're lucky, we don't actually have to worry about anything. This is the guy being tortured. Not Halson. All right, we'll investigate that. We have a jump we can make over here. This takes us to the middle of nowhere, it seems. All right, this guy needs our help. Let's go be a hero. That is what we are, after all. Stop this from happening. Poor lad. I could give you peace, you know. But no. You gotta keep silent, don't you? Where do they flee to? You stubborn rat! P please stop! Here to see your friend, have ya? Come and join him if you like. Say we'll take over. His work is sloppy. He'll kill the prisoner too quickly. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. All right. So is there like a division of like cast or something when you have uh, when you have uh, little tadpoles in you? Or is it a matter of like the ones that have tadpoles in them are the chosen ones and the ones that have these like marks on them are, you know, otherwise cursed. Like they're not the ones who are in control. They're supp supposed to be like the thralls or something like that. I guess I have some power here. I can tell them to leave. So, okay, why are you torturing him? This looks interesting. Let me put him through his bases. Tell him to leave. I could tell them to have a drink. Your boss sent me to relieve you. Why would I just lie? Uh, or I'm taking over your sloppy handiwork is going to kill the prisoner too quickly, which is a performance. No, 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 no. I will, I will use... I will use my wisdom to tell them to leave. This makes me nervous. I don't think I'll fail with a DC of 2 and a wisdom of plus 3. I don't even need guidance this time around, but uh, every time I click on Illithid, I get just a little, just a little cagey. Nice. I'd laugh if I rolled a nat 1. It's not true that I couldn't fail this roll. I could fail this roll. I just have to roll a natural 1, but I didn't. Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. It's taking something you'll never get back. Sorry, sir. I didn't realize. Hey, he's all yours. Just, just, just don't be too rough, maybe. Moonrise Towers might still want to take him. I want to watch that weird priest next door. Ooh. Sounded like he was beating something up. Oh, <laughs> yeah, beating it good. What oh, oh, pressure? this priest. Oh, forget about him. There'll be more of them soon. Are those their pet rats? Because they're following them quite loyally. Um, okay, I was hoping when he said priest, he just, you know, doesn't know what a druid is. But nope, that's not the case. I gotta say, though, I need to stop using my illithid options. That was, this is making me a little uncomfortable. I'm not saying I will stop using them. As a, as a character, as a player, I'm expressing concern about every time I use them. But hey, we'll see where that takes us. Liam, what the hell's going on here? Please, let me out. There's no reason for this. I came for the night song. Where is it? Or I'm looking for a druid named Halson. I could pick the lock. Um, I'm looking for a druid named Halson. Halson? I, I don't know. He, he, he changed into a bear, but I lost sight of him. I don't know if he's still alive. That's all I know. P please, get me out of here. Okay. 
So we got to look for a bear. I'm trying to remember if I saw one outside, but uh, none, 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 none comes to mind. Not near here, at least. But uh, I came for the night song also. Where is it? Somewhere underneath the temple. There's a hidden passage. B Brian had instructions, but the goblins got him. They, they, they said they'd eat him. Please, please. These shackles. I... I don't want to die. Um... <laughs> just leave. I, I... I... wonder if we go looking for, like, the kitchen or something and try and find Brian's remains. That feels like the, uh, the next logical step I in that path. I feel like this is obviously a clue. This is obviously some degree of direction for us for both of our current quests. So, relax, buddy. I'm not going to leave you here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, let's go in and uh, pick the lock. Or I can say, be patient, I'll be back. That feels like the right call, because if I pick the lock and we let him free, I feel like we end up in a similar situation as Saza, right? Where it's like, cool, now we got to sneak out of here with this person in tow. No idea which way we can go. Um, and we might just end up with him killed. Uh, now with Saza, it worked out, but that was... That, that was a much simpler time, right? There were, there were fewer people watching, and I did come across an alternate way out. So I feel, feel like maybe being patient here is the right call. I'll be back, buddy. I'll, I'll, I'll come get you. Don't worry. I worry, though, if I say be patient, he might be dead when I come back. But it's the right call. It's what will actually keep him alive, and that's what heroes actually do. Be patient. I'll be back. Please, hurry. I will, buddy. I will. I will. Don't worry, I won't get distracted by things like loot. Let's see if there's anything up over here. A little skeleton. Some gold and some onyx. That can't be it. The devil with the silver tongue. An old fairy tale my father read to me. The kind with a hero, a villain, and a moral. A farmer made a deal with the devil, so the story goes. In exchange for the farmer's dearest fruit, the devil granted him a bottomless coin purse. The farmer's dearest fruit, naturally, was no apple nor peach, but his beloved daughter. We can learn a lot from fairy tales, don't you think? I think we can, yes. With the right teacher, so this was a misclick, but um, I can see this playing out in uh, in character. Found, f find a moment away from all the stuff and just be like, hey, so the thing that happened when we got here, let's talk about that for a moment. Because he's obviously talking about Raphael. With the right teacher, yes. What are your thoughts on the devil, Will? Okay, get to the point. Or you mean Raphael? We should at least consider his offer given our circumstances or spare me the parables. I have no intention of bargaining with the likes of him. No, no, no. No, no. With the right teacher, yes. What are your thoughts on the devil, Will? Refuse him no matter how tempting the offer, no matter how delicious the feast he lays out for you. The cost's always too great. Okay. He spoke of a cure. We have to at least hear him out. Take a single step towards him, and he'll dog you the whole journey. You might think you'd give up anything for a cure. But the devil won't take just anything. He'll take everything. All right, well, you know what? Since we've begun this string of conversations, let's have it with Shadowheart and Asterion as well. Bloody hells. Literally. Just when I think I've got a grasp on our dilemma, a devil shows up. <sighs> no matter. We've dealt with every other oddity thrown at us lately. We can handle this one too. Now, as for this Raphael, he knows our secret. He claims he can help. What do you make of him? I was going to ask you that, damn it. Um, help is help no matter the source. Honestly, I'm not so sure. He's a devil, or I should just read her thoughts. <laughs> it's so rude. It's such a, such a horrible invasion of privacy. DC 10. All right, that's not too bad. If she spots us, we're in so much trouble. Nice, that plus three coming in clutch. My heart stopped for a second there. Oh my goodness. 
anticipation. She is testing me somehow. About Raphael. Yeah, I could I could tell that. Sounds like she's not like Will. I don't think she's as like uh, standoffish about potentially working with the devil. Help is help no matter the source or you know, honestly, honestly. In actuality, yeah. I'm not so sure. I suppose it was a lot to take in. A devil sought us out, teased us with his help, but he also stared as if we were the banquet, rather than the one on the table. We can't hedge our bets here. Best we decide how to deal with him, if at all. Alright, okay. Well, if he can truly offer help, maybe we should consider it. Yeah. Maybe. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps a devil has our best interests at heart and wants nothing in return. We could throw ourselves at his feet, be they cloven or otherwise. Or perhaps we shouldn't. Getting a lot of mixed messages here, Shadowheart. Listen. <laughs> uh, you're twisting my words, trying to manipulate me. Uh, no, I'll, I'll admit it, I, d I don't know what to do. Clearly. And you know what? I think that's just what the devil intended. I know people who work much like our new acquaintance does. You don't need a scourge or a rack to break people. Fear and self-doubt is sufficient. When actual pain comes, the victim's already done the heavy lifting for their torturer. There were no right answers with that devil. He was toying with his food. Us. I'm just picturing being Liam, hearing Shadowheart talk about like, oh yeah, when you're being tortured, it's kind of your fault. You've done the heavy lifting. I just poor Liam. They're just like, oh man, <laughs> they're not coming back to help me. Uh, I'm glad I made the right decision then. Who the hell's who the hell's are these people you know who do such things? Okay, I didn't realize you were so well versed in mental and emotional torment. But I think I detected a note of admiration in your voice. Maybe a little bit. I respect his craft. As should you. Watch out for that devil. I can. Yeah, I can get behind that. I can. Yeah. They don't have to like somebody to say that they're good at what they do, even if it's a devilish thing, literally here. Oh, I could ask about the artifact. No, what do you think of all that's happened to us so far? We should get to know each other a little more. We should journey separately or... No, no, no. Good, we're good, we're good. We're good. And Asterion, what about yourself? <laughs> now there's a bloody devil trailing after us. Well, this gets better and better. Shop around, he said. He seems sure we won't find anything. And he might be right. We've had no luck so far. Everybody seems pretty adamant about not working with the devil and not trusting the devil. We must be missing something here. We'll have to cross that bridge when we come to it. I say that all the time. He's not. We still have options. Or if you want to sell your soul, be my guest. No, no, no. He, he's not. He's not right. We still have options. Let's exhaust them first, please. Maybe. But all that take your time, I'll wait nonsense. He's playing with us. He reminds me of... Well, someone I used to know. And someone that liked to play with people. Creatures like them don't play games. Unless they know they can win. Fair point. We're not his playthings, we'll show him that. Or so what do we do? Or you might not be able to outfox him, but I will. No, no, no. I don't know. We're, we're not his playthings. We'll show him that. Maybe. But he's not the only one spinning a web for us. This is no ordinary mind flare parasite. Who tampered with it, and why? What do they have planned for us? And why are we important enough that a devil comes knocking on our door? If we find those answers, we might have a chance. Alright, interesting, interesting spread of opinions, largely aligned with regards to uh, not working with a literal devil, but... Uh, some interesting thoughts. Now, I'm very curious, this, this place is oddly empty, why is there nothing here? Nope. <sighs> Almost pleasant traveling with company. If you ignore all the less pleasant aspects. That's funny. But no, I didn't mean to click on you. Sorry. All right, let's keep moving. Let's go. Nothing to see here, it seems. Or maybe there was something to dig up that we just haven't spotted because of our perception. But away we go. We've got lives to save, including that of our own. Where is this druid? Lapse corridor. Oh, what's down this way? I'm trying to figure out which way I want to go for this, uh... Well, for the kitchen, I guess, as well. 
heavy oak doors. That's the way out then. And I guess we don't have to worry about the guard or anything. Like, no one, no one has an issue with us being here, which still confuses me, but I'll take it. There's a potion of healing here that wouldn't be considered stealing if we took it. All right. True soul gut. High priestess of the absolute. Oh. Here's our high priestess. And there's an iron gate. What's behind it? I'm not supposed to open it. I'm just taking a peek for Halson. Bone caps and levers. That's to open the gate, I assume. Can't see anything on the other side. I should, in fact, be able to use Will's uh, Misty Step to get in there. Can I not? No way. Not enough space. Oh yeah, okay. You know what was happening? It was it was intersecting with the, uh, the 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 door, I think. So we can use Misty Step to get in here. Looks like there's a cave mouth up there. Oh ho 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 ho! Smaller giant spider. Excuse me. Oh, because that's a larger giant spider. Oh, that actually makes my skin crawl. That's kind of creepy. Okay, well, good to know that those are there. Let's uh, not investigate that yet. But keep what that in the back of my mind. What to do? Wonder if Push up, and I wonder if this conversation is best left for... Well, who's the most charismatic amongst us? Who is the most charismatic amongst us? It's going to be... It's going to be Will, isn't it? Yeah, it's Will. He is a warlock, after all. Alright, Will. Make it happen. Get us something here. Now, here's somebody special. The Absolute has touched you, hasn't she? Priestess Gut needs to touch you, too. Hold out your arm so I can mark your flesh. No, 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 no. 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 No, 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 no. Not liking this. Not liking this. I assume this mark has a purpose? Shows our devotion to the Absolute. These maggots see how strong we are with her guidance. Whole camp will be branded soon. And you should be too. You ready? Brace yourself. This'll sting. I don't... I don't like this. Um... I'd rather not go through with this. Is what I imagine Will would say. Maybe you don't need it. After all, you're special, ain't ya? Like me. She probes your mind, tangling your thoughts with hers. A familiar sensation. She too carries a power. Darkness seems to swallow the temple, leaving you with a vision of the goblin priestess receiving instruction from a handsome young man. One of the chosen. The vision dissolves away. You stand before the goblin priestess in the temple once again. Well, that was curious. He looked almost uh, devilish. That aside, um, that's also a very different interaction than we've had with anybody else who's had a parasite. But I will push deeper into her mind. Watch. This has gone from being a charismatic conversation to one that relies on wisdom instead and Bear would have been best utilized in this position. Her faith floods into you, a tide of shuddering ecstasy. Her tadpole nestles within that mania, secure, hidden. I feel you in there, digging around. Works both ways. And I saw some weird shadows swimming around in your head just now. Maybe I can help with that. Us true souls gotta look out for one another. Either way, I don't think she's gonna take this parasite out of my head. I think she worships the parasite. Do you think you can fix whatever's causing those shadows? I want to see how much she knows. I don't want to offer any information because then she might be like, you know, either suspicious or she might be like, wait a second, you're not what I thought you were. You're something else. Or, or, or something. Okay, do you think you can fix whatever's causing those shadows? With the absolute's will, I can fix anything. I don't trust this. Let's deal with this in my chapel. It's private. Don't want this lot interfering with true soul business. 
I don't like this at all. That's exactly it. It's like they they've they've embraced the parasite. They like the parasite. And I assume they're being ordered around, right? Because they can do that using the parasite. They can they can tell you what to do and all that good stuff. And they've just embraced that as the word of God, which is obviously kind of scary. Uh, fortunately, we're not able to, or we're, we're able to avoid that fate. But we have to be extremely careful about how we tread through this. Um, I don't think she's going to help us remove the tadpole. I think she thinks it's a blessing. So there's that aspect. I think... The Druid Halson seems to be the only actual option right now outside, again, of the literal devil. I wonder, again, if I head down... Where, where is this? It's, like, down this way? I've got I want to try and find the Night Song. So it's somewhere over it's here, somewhere supposedly, way. but it must be, like, underground or something. I gotta find Brian's body, and for that, I think I gotta go looking for, I assume, again, the kitchen. Now, where do you put a kitchen in a goblin camp? Well, this isn't the camp, right? This is the temple. Temples have kitchens, though. Well, some of them at least, so... Be like we could go digging for one. Maybe come across one. Let's see, let's see. Push up to here. What do we have? What do we have? La okay, we got a ladle. Mortar and... Okay, so this is... This is, this is the kitchen. All right, okay. And this is also the priestess. Oh, it's just your chambers? Or your private quarters, your office, as it were? Mm, don't, don't love this. I saw all these things, but no, I guess it's not, it's not for cooking. It's for like preparing herbs and ointments and all that kind of stuff. All right, fair enough. Gotta go looking for this body. That's for the, uh, the artifact, though. That's for the artifact. We can talk with True Soul Gut. Well, we can do that next time. Folks, gonna leave things on a small cliffhanger. No idea how this conversation is gonna go, but we're obviously not going to bend to being branded or anything. Though I'm tempted. I'm almost wondering if I should leave this conversation for later and go seeking the druid instead. That's probably what I'm naturally inclined to do as a druid. That's probably what Bear wants to do. Uh, and after that conversation with the, uh, with, 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 the, with the high priestess here, I imagine Will is like, yeah, this isn't going to work out. I think, as, as he said, I think these guys worship the tadpoles and everything they bring. So, uh, folks, lots to think about. Think about it between sessions. We might go chasing after Halson, leaving the priestess behind, or we might see where this conversation goes and then uh, still go chasing after Halson afterwards. We'll see. If you enjoyed this episode, as always, please don't hesitate to let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. I say it all the time because it does make a very big difference with regards to how I approach things on the channel. With that said, as always, a massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. They'll keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, cheers.